Good afternoon, folks. Uh, Pastor Greg here with uh, just a, a little midweek thought uh, to hopefully help your walk with Christ go a little bit better until we meet again on Sunday. Um, this week's thought, I want to talk to you a little bit about worship. I want to talk about private worship and what we do with ourselves and how we get ourselves from Sunday to Sunday. Uh, I'd love to hear from some of you uh, about what you do to to carry yourselves along, whether it's listening to music, what your devotion life looks like, your Bible reading plans. Uh, if you're like me, uh, it kind of ebbs and flows. I, I get into a, a groove where I'm doing the same thing uh, all the time, and then suddenly it seems like it kind of falls flat a little bit, and I need to change things up. But uh, the Bible over and over tells us that our job is to continually worship, continually pray. And if you've ever asked yourself, well, how in the world am I supposed to do that, even while I'm working, while I'm caring for life and family? How can I worship continually? Well, Hebrews chapter 13 has just a little bit of help for us here. Hebrews 13, 15, and 16 says this, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Through Jesus, we continually offer a sacrifice of praise. And that is, it's in how we live. Worship is not just singing songs. It's not just declaring scripture and preaching, praying together in the public gathering. Those are very, very important things. And, and there are things that are very near and dear to my heart uh, and what we do as a church. But worship doesn't just have to be that. Worship is what we do privately. In fact, what we do privately fuels what we do corporately. The more we're worshiping in our own lives, the more we're following Jesus, uh, I think the brighter and more vibrant and spirit-filled our worship gets when we gather together. What Hebrews is telling us, it's an as-you-go type of moment. While we live, as we go, continue. Lips that continue to, to confess Jesus' name are lips that are constantly praising him. You know, God is at work every single day. Every day we get up and put our feet on the ground. Every day we'll, we're able to, to motivate towards whatever it is our calling and our purpose that day is, is a day that we can praise him. And we do that not just by confessing who he is, but by not forgetting to do good to others as we should. Folks, our private worship includes such things as Bible study and obviously and prayer and time like that. But don't forget that you can do this all day long, all week long. You can continue to worship him in how you confess his name in what you do in your daily life. Well, I hope that your private worship uh, is is a enriching, and I hope it is a, a wonderful experience for you. Um, I hope if you find yourselves in a rut that you'll seek out other believers and seek out your church leaders, your Bible study leaders, and things like that, and ask them, how do they continue to keep things fresh as you go along? My prayer is that as your personal worship deepens, as you pray, as you worship, that when you come together on Sundays, whether you're joining us online or whether you're joining us uh, in person there at the church building itself, I pray that that makes our worship of God just blossom richer and richer and richer as we go. Our job is to make the name of Jesus famous, to lift him up and to know and to show the world who our Savior is. I love you. I will look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless you.